The following somatic education exercise frees the adductors of the thighs, which, when free, allow the legs to spread freely, and when bound, produce limitation in the ability to spread the legs and groin or inner thigh pain. This movement can be used to eliminate spasms in the adductors of the thighs. What you'll be seeing is a series of movements that involves breathing and arching the back, separating the knees, and doing a series of pelvic rocks, that is, forward and back with the pelvis, or arching and flattening the back in each knee position. The first action is to breathe in and arch the back and separate the knees until you feel some restriction in the action in the inner thighs or in the groin region. You then do two actions of flattening and arching the back and then separate the knees to the next position of restriction and do two actions of breathing into arch, breathing out to flatten the back. It helps to lift the head slightly when flattening the back and to let the head down when allowing the back to arch. What you're seeing is two cycles of flatten and arch the back. You may do more than two. You may do three or even four before separating your knees to the next working position. So here's an arch action the knees separate, exhale and flatten, keeping the legs stably in that position, then breathing in again, arching the back, keeping the knees stably in that position, and flattening the back as you exhale. With the next arch, you separate the knees a bit further, and maintaining that leg position, do a series of flatten and arch. When you've done two, you breathe in, arch, and separate the knees to the next place that feels restricted. You do this sequence in that manner until your legs are as far wide as you can get for this practice session. Having done that movement series to the full extreme of separating your knees, you then reposition your feet further away from your buttocks to get the thigh muscles that are more towards the center line of the thigh. The closer in your feet are toward your buttocks, the more you're dealing with the short adductors which attach wider in along the groin. And the further away your feet are positioned, the narrower or closer in to the center of the groin you're reaching in the thigh adductors.